Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 12th video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I am going to show you creating reverse incremental backup in Veeam. So in last video, last two videos we have seen how to create for, forever forward incremental backup and how to create forward incremental backup. So in this video we are going to see how to create a reverse incremental backup. So from here you can see this is a are not recommended because this is slower so recommended one is incremental backup for from Veeam so I also do not recommend this in inverse in uh, reverse incremental backup which because this is slow and this is going to take much time if you are going to restore the older points restore points so let's see what is my lab environment here so we have a uh, <coughs> three virtual machine in this demo so the first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory and DNS server you can see from here this is my Active Directory and DNS server if you go to local server you can see Win2K12 DC01 and if I go and Active Directory and users you can see my Active Directory users and computers also so this under the India we have servers we have VMs we have everything so this is my Active Directory and the next server which we have is Veeam server itself which is Veeam 2K12 Veeam which is installed with Veeam backup and replication 9.5 and let's verify this server here so this is my Veeam server and this machine also having Veeam replication and uh, Veeam backup and replication console so I'm going to connect with my console it's loading now so this is my Veeam backup and replication and the last server which we have is Win2K12 HV01 which is our standalone Hyper-V host and it's having two virtual machine VM01 and VM02 so let's check out so this is my server and if I go to Hyper-V manager you can see the server name is Win2K12 HV01 which is Hyper-V and I'm going to power on my both the virtual machine and then we are going to connect and make sure everything is working fine with this virtual machine then so this Hyper-V host is already added in Veeam uh, console which we have done in last few videos so I'm going to just log into these virtual machine and verify that everything is working fine on these virtual machines so yeah both the virtual machine are running fine and if I go here under the inventory you can see the Hyper-V host is added here which is running to virtual machine Veeam01 and Veeam02 so this is our infrastructure so now these all steps we which are going to perform during the reverse incremental backup so let's create first reverse incremental job and then we are going to verify all these steps one by once during the job execution so here if I go on back home I have backup jobs I'm going to create a new backup jobs Microsoft Hyper-V and then I'm going to type the name vm01 and vm02 reverse and I'm going to copy this in description reverse inc backup at 8 pm every day so this is my description so next now click next and I'm going to add my virtual machine now so click on add select Hyper-V host then virtual machine click on add so now click next after adding both the virtual machine which required to backup in this backup job and now we have a storage so I'm going to storage my uh, repository which is Veeam backup repository and I'm going to make the restore point 10 and you make the register point as per your requirement and I'm going to click on advance and here in advance you can see we can define this backup job as a reverse incremental so this is slow you can see it's not recommended because it's slow so I'm also not recommending this but we need to test this backup so I'm going to do the reverse incremental and click OK and then I'm going to click next 
and we have these backups so I'm not going to apply any these features for now click next on the schedule I'm going to run this job 8 p.m. every day so now it's everything looks good just click on apply and we have run this job when I click finish so this is the job name we um, 0 01 and 0 02 reverse and this is the target path e drive backup which is our backup repository here e drive and it's going to create here folder with this backup job name and target hyper v backup source item v vm1 vm2 which is running on hv01 and this is other details so i'm going to click on finish so once i click on finish you can see job is started and we can go here on running and you can see the backup process so it's zero percent now so it's going to check the VMs and let's identify the VM size so almost using a 20 gig so it's going to process now VM one by one so if I go here you can see the folder has been created with the uh, folder name which is uh, as a job name which is our job name so good and it's also created the metadata file so if I go here view an option and do not hide extension apply this and then you can see this is metadata file the first file which was created which having the backup job information schedule backup job name and where to store data all these details and this is our full backup which is running you can see the backup job is vbk and you can see the vim backup and replication full backup it's 90 percent com 9 percent completed and now if i go here you can see during the first backup job Veeam backup and replication create a full backup file on the backup repository so this is running now full backup and it's creating the full backup file in Veeam repository which is eDrive backup so what it's going to do in next backup so you can see from here during the subsequent backup jobs vim and backup and replication copies only the, the vm data blocks that have been changed since the last backup jobs means it's going to create the incremental backups now so you can see from here vim backup and replication inject the copy of data blocks into a full backup file to rebuild it to the most recent vm state so what it's going to do it's going to basically it's going to take the incremental backup and then it's going to change uh, inject those blocks which was written here in reverse backup file in a most recent backup which was taken to create a uh, to uh, to rebuild the state of uh, most recent virtual machine as a full backup so you can see this backup is created and completed successfully and now if I click on refresh you can see the backup file has been created and again if I go here and run this backup so what it's going to do this time so if I go here you can see what it's going to do so just wait for a few more seconds here it's going to show you the details you can see the reverse incremental and if I go refresh it can see it's going to do this VRB file and then VBK file for the full backup so you can see now it's going to have VRB file which is a uh, reverse incremental backup file and it's going to modify the most recent backup which is this and it's going to inject that backup here in the full backup so you can see the state 99 percent completed now it succeeded and you can see the most recent backup which we have is a full backup so let's run this uh, backup job one more time to just verify what it's going to do on the next point so again if I go on jobs you can see 
reverse is running and it's going to run the reverse incremental backup once again it's going to create a backup file VRB file very soon so you can see now we have VRB file one more VRB file which is on 318 p.m. so it's almost completed so let's run this job one more time and then what we are going to do we are going to uh, modify the retention policy for this uh, backup job so I'm going to configure to 3 only and then I'm going to click apply next and then everything leave default and I'm going to click on finish so you can see the backup job is running it's going to have now ideally it's going to f uh, take care about only three uh, reverse incremental backup including this full backup so it's going to check the jobs also so you can see it's 99 percent completed so now we have total four backups and if I run this backup job again and see this having three restore point to keep on hard drive and if I'm going to run again this backup then we will verify what it's doing with the outdated data so you can see after adding a new restore point to the backup chain Veeam backup and replication check the retention policy which we have just changed to three uh, which is set to job and if Veeam backup and replication detects outdated restore point it's removed that this point from the backup chain so it's going to remove the outdated backup jobs so it's going to see here completing complete and 50 percent completed and nine percent completed and soon it's going to be a finish and success need to wait for a few more seconds here okay so now you can see we have a uh, five backup total one is one is full and three uh, four is in reverse incremental so since we have changed this backup job to keep only three restore point it's going to store only three files two incremental and one two reverse incremental and one full backup so you can see here this has been changed and uh, old restore point has been outdated restore point has been removed from the backup chain so this is good news and now if I go to inventory and click on restore instant VM and if I select this point if I send expand this we are going to get only three restore point and the latest one is going to get a full backup which is uh, because this is reverse incremental full backup so this is all about in this video in creating reverse incremental backup so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye